Mendes Film, international musical therapist. And welcome to a special edition of Uncovering the Cover of Celebrities in Follies, the musical. In today's edition, I interview Australian showbiz royalty, the most famous and beloved husband and wife team in Australian television history. Revered by millions, they have five logies between them. You all know who I'm talking about because they are household names. Bert and Patty Newton. <laughs> sorry, Bert and Patty Newton. Oh, sorry. Uh, Hello, Jane. Hello. I'm so excited. Sorry about that. Hello, I get a, That's okay. I get a bit nervous when I'm... Patty. You're Patty and Bert, oh, yes? I'm Bert, yes. Oh, yes. I mean, I get a bit nervous when I'm interviewing real stars, yeah, you know? Yeah, well, we understand that. Yeah, it's very nice of you. Oh, well, we, we, without you two guys doing the pioneering in television, there wouldn't be people like me doing YouTube series. <laughs> yes, I'm sure. Okay, so in Follies the Musical, you're playing an old famous showbiz couple who are maybe not quite as uh, as famous or onto it as they used to be. Is that a good acting challenge for both of you? Well, Emily, my character, is um, I think she's actually suffering a little bit of dementia, so it's perfect for me because I can't remember anything. Really? Mm. So it sort of works pretty well, really. Fantastic. So it's actually not even really a stretch. No, I don't even have to work very hard to be her. Wow, that's the best kind of acting, isn't it? <laughs> Fantastic. Now, um, Pert, I'm, I'm sorry, Pert, Bert. Yeah. Um, now, you have played in many musicals for Mr. Gordon Frost, and people call you Moonface. Um, I don't know if you know that as a nickname, but people. Yeah, I've never that. really understood why. Uh, I should be called uh, Moonface, but still, it's a term of endearment, so I it uh, I accept it. That's right. Well, um, so that's right. So I wanted to know when uh, Mr. Gordon Frost recently did Anything Goes. Did you play the role of Moonface Martin? No, no, I didn't. Uh, I that's a when I saw the show, yeah. I realised that it wouldn't have been uh, the sort of role that I would necessarily like, but the man who played really? it was excellent. Yes, I, I don't I don't know him, but I, I thought it would be such a great uh, casting for you. Yeah, well, Jan, with respect, um, yeah. I, I think we'd rather talk about Follies rather than a show that's yeah. been and gone. Sure. But I don't mean that. No, you know, sure. No, no, sure. No, you're right. You're right. This you, is going to be a pretty fabulous show. Finally. Yeah. Oh, no, it is. It is. I just, yeah. I just thought, you know, I'm sort of into marketing sometimes and I did think to, that it was a missed opportunity from Mr. Gordon Frost to not have Moonface as Moonface. Well, you know, but, there's, you know, there's no Mr. Gordon Frost, don't you? Huh. Okay. <laughs> it's the dementia. It's the dementia. <laughs> in, in the show, Batty. Oh, Batty. <laughs> I'm sorry, my right. is I my answer to anything. Oh, great. Yes, um, so you have to sing, listen to the rain on the roof, go pit, patty, pat, pit, patty, pity, pat, sit, kitty, cat. Not quite like that, no. No, but really. it probably... Um, it's sort yeah. of better than that, really. Oh, is it? No. Oh. Okay. Just sing a line. Uh, yeah. Listen to the rain on the roof. Go pit pity pat, pit pity pat. Oh, yes, different rhythm. Yes, yeah, so I've got a bit of a patty in there, so yeah, I'm yes, at yes. home. Oh, well, this is what I was going to ask you, because obviously you've got good rhythm. Uh, it was a bit, some of it. I thought I said it as good. But, um, um, so it has got your own name. That's what I was going to ask. Yes. Does, it, does it make it easier or harder to remember? Well, it's a very confusing song. You're is sort it? of either pit, pity, patting, or you're plunk, plunk, a plinking, or you're doing lots of things. So it does make it a bit difficult to get it into yeah. my thick brain. Is that hard, just your dementia? Pardon? Um, so, hard hitting question, which I'm known for. Right. Right. Okay, here it comes. Is Olivia Newton John your love charm? Because she's called the same Newton, but then she's got John on the end, and I thought maybe she always did that just to, you know, she wanted to make it on her own. Is that true or false? No, well, it's totally false. Totally uh, false. <clears throat> yes, Olivia yeah. happens to be a personal friend of ours. Oh. And you have a look at the age differences. And yes. And, you, you know, we She's would have to young. have had the child when we were seven. Well, either it was really? going to be Olivia or me, you see, and I won. For Bert? Yes. Yes. Wow. Well, that's uncovering a story. <laughs> Weekly. Hope you're watching. <laughs> anyway, back, back to Follies. Oh, yes. Okay. So, um... 
Well, um, so the last thing is, is kind of like, it's sort of about uh, follies because yes. it's about a musical, this last question. Um, so now Helen, um, she's the tea and coffee lady at the Scarfell where I do my courses, right? And, oh, okay. um, and also she's uh, also the, my penis. Uh, you know, she plays piano for me and she's filming uh, today. Um, so behind the camera. So Helen, she does all my research, right? Because right. I'm busy. She told me that recently you, you guys, you created quite a stir on the red carpet uh, on the opening night of Georgie Girl because you finally answered all the rumours that's been going around for years by about the balding head uh, by taking off your wig, Patty. Well, and uh, and going bald on the red carpet. And so for anyone who missed that, no, I just was hoping maybe you could do it here. No, just no, because no. Um, it would go viral. This will go viral. Uh, but if you've you got it all wrong. You've got it all wrong. It's nothing to do with me. It's him. Yeah, yes, I know he's bald, but yeah. men get upset about saying things like that. But <laughs> I, heard, I know that you've got, you've got it. The, the no, this is, with this is, look. It's, it's you know, real. Yeah. The little bits of grey in there and everything. It's it's me. Look, I'm a musical singer. I help people to to release things. So I'm thinking it would be fairly powerful right now if you just showed it and just just like maybe take it off oh, and please. just show a little. No. Oh, oh, I have a bit of a. Oh, hang on, oh, excuse me. It's me. It's real. I'm so sorry. Go on. You can have a pull. Oh, that is See, actually real. Going. That is actually real. I'm so embarrassed and so sorry about very that. Best. All the very, very best. Nice just everything you. that you. Thank you so much for being on the program, Helen. You are absolutely dead.